In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a simple skill that will take the quality of your music to the next level. If you want your kick to cut through your mix, or you wanna turn a basic synth into something special, you're gonna to wanna to know how to side chain. Welcome back creatives. I'm Jarrell, your music technologist, here to help you master the tech you need to make music freely. I make tip and tutorial videos as well as product reviews on all things music production every week. If you enjoy that kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be the first to catch the next one. So I remember the first time I figured out this trick. Um, it's really a simple skill and it has really, really helped my mixes get better. I was using FL Studio back then, but it's even easier to do in Beatmaker 3, which is what we'll be using to try it today. So we're gonna dive in to how to sidechain in Beatmaker 3. Let's go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open up Beatmaker 3. And here's the project we're working with today. Simple loop with some drums and a little bit of bass. Here's what we got. All right, so you got it. There's a low section and a high section of this loop, and I'm gonna go in and we're gonna see what we're gonna do with it. So we're gonna open up our mixer tab, and audio one is the lower one, and audio two is the higher one. And what I wanna do is I wanna get my kick to really cut through here. Right now the sample is just laying over the top. I don't want that kick to cut through. So here's how we're gonna do that. We're going to click audio one right here, and then we're gonna click audio effects for that channel. And we're gonna to go to add audio effect and add a dynamics processor. Um, so it's automatically set to compressor, that's what we want. We're gonna click side chain input. Instead of none, we're gonna to go to the bank where my drums are. So I have my drums inside of this bank called Let's Go. I have to select the exact pad because if I select just this bank, it's going to cut out for all of the instruments, not just the kick. So what I'm gonna do is click select pad and the kick I used is Anchor Kick 2. Boom. All right, so it's loaded in. Now we're gonna go ahead and change some settings. Here's what it sounds like before I change anything. All right, let's go back to audio one, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this threshold down. The lower you drop down your threshold, the more intense the effect. So uh, I'm gonna drop it down to about negative 30. Bring up my ratio to about 4.5 is where I like it. Okay, turn my attack down to about, uh, we'll just go one millisecond. And then our release, we'll turn it down to about 40 milliseconds. And this is kind of the effect I like. Here's what it sounds like. So that's the effect we're going for. We've got that kick cutting straight through. Now, something that's very important to remember when you get a, a setting that you like, once you've got it dialed in, make presets, okay? Because if I wanna apply this effect to any other instrument, all I gotta do is open up the effect again and put a, uh, the same preset on it. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and click this triple dot right here next to it, and I'm gonna click Save Preset. I'm gonna type in my preset name. We'll call it Kick side chain boom so now all I have to do to put that same exact effect on the higher one is click that tab add audio effect dynamics processor and then I'm just gonna click the three dots up here and then my presets right here at the bottom kick side chain boom now if I play this back again I'll go forward to the place where the higher one is here's what I got That's it. So let's hear it in context.
I think that sounds pretty dope. It's not perfectly mixed yet. We haven't got to the mixing stages, but we've got that effect. Now, there's another case in which you might want to side chain. Say you want to make a synth sound super dope with a kind of a ramping up effect. We're going to give that a shot. So let's open up another project. I've got this project I made called Genuine. It's the start of a beat. So here's something I played in with module. I'll play it for you. So you can tell that synth is ramping up every time, starting low and coming up. The way I made that effect, I'm going to show you right now. So back to my mixer, module is selected. Now if I go into my audio effects and I'll turn off my dynamics compressor, you can hear exactly what this sounded like before I put any effects on it. So let's see if we can give it that swelling effect that we want. I'm going to go in and I, what I did was I created a kick It's in this bank E1 and all I did was just play it in one note at a time. So I recorded that in and then what I did was I put a saturator on it just so I could turn the volume down all the way without actually having to move the fader here in the mixer tab. So um, I have my kick, it's going on every beat, check. All right, I added saturator in the mixer tab, turned the output gain all the way down. We're good to go on that. Now I'm gonna go into module. I'm gonna click audio effect, and I've got my dynamics processor on. I'm gonna select my side chain input, and here's that bank E1. Now remember, I don't wanna just select the bank. I wanna select the instrument. So select pad, AK kick. All right, so now that's side chained. I like my threshold nice and low. I've got it down to 30 decibels. My ratio is four to one. My attack is three milliseconds and release is actually pretty high for this one. So what the release does is it controls how long it drags out that silence for. Um, so I want it to kind of drag out for a long time so that'll ramp up um, over time. So here's what that sounds like. So as I drag my release down, here's what it would sound like. So if I uh, drag the release down really low, it doesn't ramp up quite the way I want it. So I like it up here. Right around there. And that's how I got that effect. Let's listen to it in context. So there you have it. That's how you turn a basic synth into something dope. Now, if a lot of this was really advanced to you, stuff that you're not used to seeing, and you wanna see a more basic tutorial on how to make something in Beatmaker 3, check out my video that I'm gonna link up here in the card, and also put it down in the description. It's my Beatmaker 3 basics video on how to get started making your first beat. Um, now, as always, my creatives, go out there and make something dope, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.